G'day guys, welcome back again. I'm doing a blue pour today. My last one, I did all the warm tones, the reds and the oranges. It's not really my colour palette, but I thought I'd give it a go. And my mix was a little bit on the thick side, I felt. So, going back to my comfort zone, my lovely blues. And I actually used these colours last week in my waterfall dirty pours. I'll show you one. It's still wet. I can just show you a little bit of it actually, because I can't fit the whole thing in. But see those those colours? The pale blue, the black, the bright blue. And so I'm using those again, but I'm also throwing in some white. So that's the colour scheme for today. But instead of doing the waterfall pour, where I poured all the paint in a jug and poured from there while I was tilting the canvas up and it all sort of ran down like a waterfall. Um, I'm just doing my usual flip cups today. So my mix today is my three cups blow troll, two cups PVA glue, one cup pouring medium and a quarter of a cup of water. And I'm mixing that three parts pouring medium to one part of my paint. So... I get a tiny, tiny little mound or build up in the cup where the paint is meeting the other paint in the cup. Just a little mound. I'm hoping that will be all right. The one I did earlier, or well, the other day, was a bit thick and my cells didn't form a nice shape. So, uh, because I've only got five colours today and I need 800 grams, I have got 120 grams of pouring medium to 40 grams of paint. That's 160 grams in each times five is 800 grams. Right, so five drops in each, because I do one drop per 30 grams or one drop per ounce. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm putting it in the white, but not in the black. One, two, three, four, five. And the last one. Lovely bright blue, this one. And that's it. So that's the treadmill silicone. It's just it says 100% silicone. So I get it on eBay. You might be able to get it from sports stores that sell treadmills because it's a treadmill lubricant. It's going to go around one, two, three, one, two, and three, and that's it. Okay, I think I've told you everything. I'll, I'll show you my colours once I've tipped them all out. So I'm going to do two passes with the paint. So I need to use each colour. I need to use half a cup. And I've only got five colours this time, so it doesn't. It takes a little bit more paint. So I think that's about half. Now instead of drizzling, I'm just going to go fast. I'm just going to go like this, same as I do when I'm doing my layering for my waterfall. Pause. It's much faster. Okay, I think that's about half ish. So I'm going dark light. Oh, sorry, dark and then sort of well, that's light as well. But that's a darker blue, a light, a white, a darker, and then light, and then we'll go back again to the the dark. So some white over my lovely bright blue. I don't have to have them so close to each other now if I'm only doing this pouring on. It's a bit faster. You get the same effect. You're layering your paints in the cup. And if you're not that good with drizzling them in or maybe your paint's a little bit thin and it's all falling through to the bottom, just do this. It's nice and easy, I find. And then the lovely pale blue. This is the colour that makes cells. Well, it did when I was doing my waterfall pours anyway. And back to the black. Shall start here because this little cup here doesn't have that very much in it. Hopefully I've got enough black to go around. Whoops. I've just scraped this one out for the last cup. I was hoping to have a little bit of black left for my corners too, but I might have to put a different colour on there. 
I got into the habit of pouring a little bit of paint on each corner just so that I don't have to worry about not tilting right over every corner and it has worked well. Works like a charm as they say. I think I'll keep a tiny bit of the, um, the navy for my corners. A little bit more of this mid blue. I think I used probably more than half in my first pass of the colours because I don't have quite as much left to do my second pass. You just sort of put a splurge in, you have no idea how much really is going in. Just a plop, a plop of paint. I've been so busy with painting today, I think I've got my second wind. Sometimes you just don't feel like pouring, but today I've done two placemat pours for you and I've done my pour with the reds and the orange. Now I'm doing this one. But I'm only really going to upload one a day because when I'm working for a few days in a row and I don't get to paint, um, I'll still be able to upload a video for you. So that's my reasoning behind that. Get it all, get a few done when I have a day off and I'm in the mood and I'm making a mess. And then um, I have something to upload for you every day. Because, well, I need to do a few extras actually too because I'm going away um, in two weeks. Going on my cruise, it's very exciting. I'm flying from the Sunshine Coast down to Sydney. And then we are cruising to New Zealand for 10 nights. Myself, my husband and another couple. And then we cruise back into Auckland and then fly from Auckland direct to Brisbane. So looking forward to that. But I uh, didn't want you guys to miss me too much over those 10 nights. So I thought I'll make a few extra videos and hopefully I can upload them from the ship. I'm hoping I can. I bought the, um, you know, that internet package. So hopefully I'll be able to upload videos. If I don't, well, no, there'll be lots to catch up on when I get back. But I'm hoping it'll work. I'm going to keep a little bit of that navy. Got a tiny bit left. All right, let's finish off with this pale blue. Last little bit. I love these colours. These are my favourite, favourite all-time colour scheme. Navy blue, light blue, white and black. And I have kept my white away from the black. I put it between the two blues because I didn't want grey. Probably get a little bit of grey when the colours are mixing and you know coming out of the cup. Can't do much about that, but I put them away from each other on purpose. There's my middle piece there. So this is looking better straight away. When I did that red pour with the reds and oranges and things and I looked at this and I said, oh, there's no cells. That's because my mix was too thick. When you flip over and you can see some tiny little cells pop up, you know you're on a good mix. So hopefully that's, that's going to work for me. And also, as your paint sits around a little bit, it thickens up a bit too. Okay, colours. White, of course and black in the global. And then we have Marina, which is this pale blue color. And, oh, I splurged onto my paint container. My deep space, which is my navy blue. And this is a mid blue that I've made. This is cool blue and cobalt mixed together. Well, that's just a little bit of pouring medium on the top. See the consistency of that? It's like oh, sour cream. Nice and thick. Okay, so as I've said before, if you're using a different 
brand of paint, your mix will be different to mine. Uh, if you're using Liquitex Basics, you need to mix four parts pouring medium to one part paint. If you're using something thinner like Deco Art or Americana, you might need to do two parts pouring medium to one part paint. So it's different for every brand of paint. So, you know, I, I'm happy to tell you what I do, but please don't get upset if you try my exact ratios with a different paint brand and it doesn't work. You just need to experiment a little bit and, and see what works with your brand of paint. I've been experimenting for almost two years now to get this exactly right for me. And I know what works for me. So it's just a matter of time really and practice and you guys will get it, I'm sure you will. Okay, I think that's been sitting enough. Let's do this. I want a nice pretty pour for today. Left half a cup in there. That's better. We need to go a bit slower. Oops, blurred that one right out. Come down, navy. All right, now I've got some gaps here. I need to put some paint back in. because I didn't like that on the edge. Oh, pretty, pretty colours. Yay. Let's get my cups out of the way. Look at this blue. Isn't it gorgeous? Blue is my favourite, favourite colour to pour with. Just beautiful. A tiny little bit of navy left in there. Not very much at all. Just a tiny bit if I need to get to my, my edges. Probably needed to let my paint sit for a while because I've got lots of little, see the little dots, little tiny white bubbles? That's because I rushed it. I need to make my paint a couple of hours beforehand and then pour. I, I get a better result that way. I can't always wait though. Uh, I don't like you. Go away. If there's something that you don't like, get rid of it now before you start tilting because it's only going to get bigger and worse. So rather get rid of it early. Okay, let's torch. Same with you. You're a caterpillar. Don't like you. Oh no, so judgmental, Julie. There we go. That should be all right. You know what, I'm going to try my little, my smaller creme brulee torch. Where did I put it? Oh, here it is. My little guy. The other one seems to be a bit of a flamethrower lately. All right, let's see how this goes. Popping bubbles. Gently bringing the heat down to the bottom. Gently bring the oil to the surface with some cells. Hopefully some nice multicolored cells will come up to the surface with the treadmill silicone. That's the idea anyway. Lots of cells on this side. I'll go over once again with this one. So I haven't got very much heat with this little guy. He's only a little. He's trying his best though. Come on little guy, you can do it. Bring that heat through. Maybe I can turn him up a little bit more. That's better. I've turned him up a bit. Oh, I've got a caterpillar. Sometimes if you go too close, you get a caterpillar. Alright, I think that'll be enough. I don't want I don't want too many cells. I'd like a bit of background. Just wait a minute and see what's happening. I think I might have 
overheated some of the paint. See how these cells going a bit wobbly on the outside? They're around them. Tent, that, that tends to happen when it gets too hot and it melts and it loses its nice round shape and it sort of goes all wobbly. So probably gone too, too close there. That's okay. Hopefully it'll stretch out a little bit. Now because I've got more white gaps up this end, I'm going to flip it around and stretch that end out first. Eh? Right, okay, I'm looking forward to doing this one. Hopefully it works. Be nice to me. And I've got my corners covered already. All right, so let's go. Side to side, actually I'll pick it up here rather. Side to side. A lot of paint. I don't know why I've still got so much paint. Side to side and a little bit down, not too fast. Just want that paint to make its way down slowly. gone over. Let's bring that weight back so nothing else drips over. This corner is covered. This one, well it's covered in navy so I'll leave that for the moment. I don't mind if it's got navy. It doesn't look out of place at all because obviously I've got navy in other places and that's why I, I do that. Leave that bit of paint on the corner before I start just in case I can't get there. So I would have had to tilt quite a lot to get over to that one little corner and this whole thing would have started losing that um, sort of striated linear pattern. Oh, oh, I really like it, you guys. Look at that. I love that black through there, through that light bit. Yay. Okay, turn you around. I think the blue paintings are boys, aren't they? And the pink paintings are girls, is that how it works? I've got a little area there that I've missed. That's okay, I'll get to that later on. Um, there's really not much to do, really, is there? I mean, this was a pretty quick pour. Not much to do at all, really. And I probably don't even need to go side to side. Well, a little bit. Just because I like stretching out. I mean, you can just go straight down, but I like stretching these cells these ones in the middle, I stretch them that way, that way, that way, that way, and they just get bigger. So that's why I, I do this. I'm going to hold on to my push pins underneath. Giant push pins they are. And there's a this little bit here, this triangle there that I'm not quite happy with and I wouldn't mind getting rid of that little blobby cell there so let's just keep going with the the zigzags back and forth just a touch until I can get a little bit more off and that is it bring the weight back before it all runs off I love it well except for you look at you can't do much about that. All right, now I'm not going to torch again. I prefer just to torch once. Um, well, actually in saying that, I guess I could maybe just torch through this, this white haze that's over here. There's most likely some cells under that. But I really don't want to bring up anything else. Um, I really, I'm happy with that. Very happy with that. Will I use my little guy again? All right, let's use my little guy. Wouldn't want him to feel left out. If I go back to the big guy and he's only had one little turn. Let's have a go under here. Just like that. Wait. See if that was enough heat. I'm not used to the little one, so I'm not sure how long it's going to take for cells to pop up. 
I'm used to my other one. Sorry, little guy. I'm going back to the big boy. It's because I know what he's going to do. I'll turn him right down, though. Shoe fly, don't you go near my painting. A little bit just there. Not much is happening in here, actually. I thought more would happen, but it's not. Okay, that'll do. I don't want to overdo it. I don't want to burn anything. I'm quite happy with that. If a few little ones pop up under here, there's, there's a few that are coming. They'll continue to grow. I'm happy with that. I don't need to overdo it. I've got plenty of cells. I've still got lots of lovely background. We've got the light blue, we've got the black, we've got the navy. This is more of a pale green there. You can see beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That's my favourite section there. Those light blue cells with the white rings around them. So pretty. Now I've got a tiny little bit of blue left, navy, that I need to do my sides with. But I kept on purpose to finish my edges. I can also pick up the paint off the table, but this corner here is just a navy corner, so it needs to have navy edges as well. Like that, and this one here, a little bit of plain navy as well. Oh, I love this one. Love, love, love it. I'm going to have to do a big one in this, you guys, for me. I hardly keep any for me. I have got some up in my house, my, my bigger paws. Um, but I could probably do with some new ones because they're pretty old. Um, you know, I did them a year ago or so when I was still learning. I'm going to put some navy on that corner there. Let it fall down. So I am probably due to do myself a nice new painting. And I really, really like this. My house is kind of Hamptons. It's got the pale timbers and the grey walls and then white trim around the windows and white doors. And then I've got this splash of navy, you know, in my cushions and things like that. So um, that's what I will try and match it to. This, this colour scheme is perfect for my Hamptons house decor, I should say. It's not a Hamptons house, it's just a Hamptons decor. I can move all my little empty cups out of the way. I've got a little bit of paint left in them, but I can't use it again. It's gone muddy. It's gone in, it's gone out, it's gone back down. Can't use it. I'm just gonna touch up my edges. A little bit there. My little tool that I got. It's a little, oh, what is it, a little palette knife? It's great for sides. Perfect for your sides. All right, is that it? I think that's it. Oh, wow, love it. It's been ages since I did a one that I really loved, that I was wowing about. My cells have gone over the sides. The sides are really pretty. I just put my palette knife in the side when I was scraping. Be careful not to do that. Drag it carefully, not lift it up and scrape the side by accident. Okay, go around here. So this mix is much better, three to one, three parts pouring medium to one part paint has made, made a huge difference. I've got nice big cells. Probably just overheated a few of them. Um, but you can't really see, it's probably this one here. See how this one's gone a bit wobbly? I think he was one of the ones that I'd overheated. You just got to be really careful not to overheat your paint because they start off nice and round like that and then you heat them and they melt and they just sort of, it's like melted ice cream, they just dissipate into your, your bowl. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, love it. I'm going to take the camera down and show you instead because I really like it. Right, let's go. Get down off my ladder again. 
around the corner. Okay. There he is. And yes, he's a boy because he's blue. Alright, yo. Start up here. My favourite section. Look at those cells. White rings around them. They're nice and round. Beautiful. These ones are really pretty too. And over there, that was the guy, I'm pretty sure that was the guy that started off a bit wobbly. See, this is why if you see something you don't like, when it's tiny, get rid of it because when it grows bigger, uh, it's not as attractive. So try and get rid of them when you can. If you think, oh, that's not going to work very nicely when it gets bigger, just get rid of it. So these tiny little bubbles here, um, those little white dots, it's probably because I had air in my mix because I was too fast. I should have just poured the paint or mixed the paint and then waited, gone and sat down, done something for an hour or so and then come back. Alright, I'm going to show you the sides because the sides are really pretty too. See the cells have gone down over the sides. Really pretty. Okay, that's it for now. I do have some really big canvases over there and oh, over there. It's a bit dark. There they are. Big canvases. That's better. So they need painting on, don't they? They need pouring on. So now this was the one that I did earlier that was that my mix was a bit too thick I thought. My cells just weren't as nicely shaped. So that's it. Alright, back to this bad boy. And then I will see you for the next pour. I'll have to wait for another day off before I can do a big one like this because it's going to take up the whole table and I've got a workshop. I'm going to have to go to work tomorrow and I've got a workshop on Saturday, so it'll be next week. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye for now.